Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. In this short video tutorial, we're going to look at the what's known as the XYZ wing. If you've been going through Duncan's uh, Little Gog's uh, analysis techniques, before this, I did a Sudoku three-way. There's absolutely no difference between the two, and I'll put a link to the three-way up above if you just want to see another example of this XYZ wing. This Sudoku puzzle is almost done and come to a bit of a stop. So we're looking for cells with three in it, and there's one, there's another one. Now, this is the one we're going to be using. So let's see what the three cells are. One of the cells has to have the three in it. And then we need to do two more cells that will have either a seven, nine, a seven, eight, or an eight, nine, some combinations like that. Um, this has got seven, nine in it, one, nine, and this has eight, nine. So seven, nine, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. So we have three candidate cells. The other requirement is that this cell that I call the master cell, master cell, the XYZ, it has to be able to see the other two. So I can see that one and I can see this one. Great. We now have a proper candidates for the XYZ and let's just mark those first. Now we need to look at a cell that has the common number here. So the common between all those three was the nine. So for example, this one nine, it can see this cell and this one but can't see that one, so that's no good. Similar here, can see two, but not the third. This cell here can see that one, that one, and that one. So that is a valid target for our X, Y, Z. The idea is that we're going to be able to get rid of this nine here. So how do we do that? We pick any, either of these now. We say, suppose this is a seven. If that's a seven, then there's no seven here. And we have eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine pair, we can get rid of all of the nines in the house. Easy enough. That was if that was a seven. If that is a nine, well, we won't have a nine here. Down here, if that is an eight, then we don't have an eight here. And we have a seven nine pair for this row. So we can get rid of all of seven nines on this row. We can get rid of that one. Okay. If this is a nine, we can't have a nine. So that's it. We've done all possibilities of, of, of the different cells. Very straightforward. Uh, in this particular case, it is going to get rid of that nine, giving us a nine up here. And solution starts falling together then after that. Okay, that's it for now. And uh, see you tomorrow with another wee video tutorial on another aspect of Sudoku. Till then, slán hámon.